Hello folks, Joe McCarthy at Catchpoint. And in this video, I'll be focusing on what happens after the alert. It's great that you're proactively receiving the alerts, but then you need to leverage all the alerting information quickly. First, I'll talk about the two types of, I'll call them events, that the Catchpoint Alert Module provides. If you put your cursor over the bell icon, you see Alert Log and Incidents. Alerts are events created by the Catchpoint system during a test run when a user assigned threshold has been met. Incidents, these are events created by a user, and this is to associate an alert or multiple alerts to an external cause. Incidents are also used to show other users that the alert has been investigated and someone has determined the reason that the test is meeting the alert criteria. So let's check out what the alert log provides. Starting at the top, you have your division. So if you've got specific business groups, you can filter on that. Then you look at time frames. The where is if you look at specific products. So you look at product ID, incident, you can filter directly into that. And then along the top, you can look at all, which we're looking at now, or all open or resolve tickets. And across the side, you can look at synthetic, real user, and then different levels, critical, warning. So all the different levels you can quickly focus in on exactly the alerts that are affecting you. Now as for incidents, you start from the alert log page and from here you can select a single alert or you can select multiple alerts. And this is where you can add information by the user. Simply click on this icon on the far left it says incident and this is where you can group multiple incidents or a single incident to give more information. As an example, I've created an incident with these four alerts so I'll go to incidents and it's called the Boston Outage. So if I select it, it shows the four alerts that have happened, and then I give a description. So the name of the outage is Boston Outage, and what had happened. A router in the Boston office, floor three, closet 3B, crashed. Surface call has been placed with a vendor, and that ticket number is as follows. So that's what incidents provides within the alerting module. So let's face it, one of the main reasons we monitor is to find issues, and more importantly, you want to be notified of an issue proactively so you find the problem before your users or customers do. So having a robust alerting system is critical. In this scatter plot view, we can see there are many issues happening on the 24th. And from here, you can dive into any one of the alerts. So if I hover over one of the diamonds, here I can dive into either a waterfall chart or go directly to alerts. But I want to talk more about the different ways you can be notified when an alert is triggered. To set up notifications, you want to go to the test section, and from here select any of the tests you've already created. So I'll go over to the view properties of this test, and then I want to scroll to the bottom where you see default alerts. From here you want to deselect the none, and now you see the simple alerts configuration area. From here you can manually type in the actual users or emails of the folks that should get the alert, or if you've got it configured you can set up contacts or contact groups and those are the folks that will get that alert. Now this is the simple alerts window. If you want to have more control over how alerts are triggered and who gets them, you want to select switch to advanced alerts, which I'll do. In this window, you can be very creative on how and when alerts will be triggered. And I've included links to show how you would configure this at the end of the presentation. I just wanted you to be aware of how you can notify people in that there are simple and advanced alert settings. And finally, many organizations have the need to integrate their alerting systems with their main trouble ticketing systems. And this is possible via our API tool. Here's an example of integrating with ServiceNow. And you can integrate our alerts with basically any trouble ticketing system. And as I mentioned, here are just some of the useful links that will ensure you're getting the most out of your alerting information. And as always, thanks for watching. And for more information on all Catchpoint solutions, please visit the link provided.